Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. Before we get into it, let's just address the elephant in the room, which is, I cut my hair. My hair used to be so long. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have loved my long hair for years, but I decided new year, new me, let's just chop it off and so this is what we're working with i cut it a couple days ago and i am absolutely obsessed with it so i just wanted to give it a little shout out and it's a little moment to shine now with that out of the way let's get into today's video yes you read the title right i told y'all that i was going to be reviewing a ton of different products this year and one of them is a face mask and i'm so dang excited because if you know anything about me you know i'm a skincare junkie but more importantly i love a good face mask so i have these face masks right here that were designed by a flight attendant and if you guys want to know what it's all about who designed it how much they are what they do and all that good stuff and this video is for you and just keep on watching now before we dive right on in to reviewing the face mask i wanted to give you guys a little bit more context about the brand the person behind this company and kind of just a little bit of background that you guys can get the full picture of this review this girl right here her name is stella and she has an instagram and a youtube channel called fly with stella this is who she is this is her with her own product she had the idea a couple years ago to make her own face mask brand she is really passionate about skincare and she thought you know what if other people can do it i can do it too so 10 months ago she launched her brand called arrive gorgeous and she came out with these sheet masks she is a new york based flight attendant and she does vlogs and all sorts of really cool videos so if you want to check her out i will list her down below but that's a little bit about her and why she started her company so without further ado let's just dive right on into it and see what these face masks are all about this is the unicarton for the face mask this is how it comes to you when you purchase it as a consumer and i also just love the personalization where it says non-stop service to healthy skin it's supposed to brighten hydrate and nourish and i just love again how it's just on brand you have the airplane you have the travel and glow and then again on the back it gives you a really nice description of not only what the product is and what it's supposed to do it also gives you a diagram of exactly how to do it how long to keep them on i just love that she was so creative it made it so fun and just really enjoyable for the consumer another thing that i really love about her brand is it came with this arrive gorgeous iridescent clear pouch why i think this iridescent bag is a really nice touch is because it was an absolute surprise it did not cost any additional money when ordering and i think that is such a fun way to not only have awesome face masks that's with your branding but really add a personal touch for the consumer and giving the consumer a product that they can use with the product that you are selling to them so let's just dive right on in this is what the face mask looks like again the branding for this whole skincare line is just on point i love that it's a little luggage now the one thing that i'm not really loving about these face masks right off the bat is they are a little pricey and i'm a huge face mask lover i get face masks from dollar tree from target from walgreens to cbs anytime i go out and i'm replenishing my makeup or anything i always grab a few face masks these guys come in a five pack and they are 30 dollars making each one of these six dollars a piece for me that is definitely a little splurgy which is such a bummer because i feel like i'd be more inclined as the consumer to buy more if they were not as pricey let's pull my hair back in a little bun and let's just try this guy on because even though i could not really love the price and even though i think the packaging is super cute my real opinions cannot come until i try it out for myself now really quick again before we dive right on into it because this is a full review and i want to give you guys as much information as i can is this a little excessive for face masks probably but I like to read this stuff as a consumer and if you guys are really interested in trying this out i want to give you guys as much information as i possibly can so the ingredients in this face mask are a vitamin c which is supposed to help brighten uneven skin tone and improve texture again i'm getting this right off of her website arrivedgorgeous.com it has gardenia extract it is supposed to be anti-inflammatory helps with smooth dry stressed out skin 
and then it has sodium hyaluronic helps plump the skin by using hyaluronic acid and then it has chamomile which helps to calm the skin so that sounds like a powerhouse full of goodness just rip this guy open just like that i can already tell it's very liquidy very juicy which is totally fine this is what the face mask is looking like now i have seen like i said a few reviews and i did see stella's opening video about this face mask so i do know that it does have a mesh backing on the end which honestly i don't really love in a face mask i don't really think it needs a mesh backing but i know that some people do prefer it some people claim that it helps the face mask open more i have a hard time opening face masks either way it's about to get a little scary up in here Ooh, okay feels definitely cold because i put it in my fridge for about an hour hour and a half you see me looking off to the side really quick it's because i have a mirror to help put this on here we are here's an up close of the face mask on my skin Stella recommends 10 to 20 minutes to keep it on we are going to set a timer for 20 minutes that's usually what i keep my face mask on for so we have the timer starting now what i will say right off the bat at looking at the face mask in the mirror first impression this is probably one of the best fitting face mask especially around my nose and my eyes especially my nose I have a really hard time with face masks. I feel like a lot of them are overly big to where you have a lot of face masks in your hairline and doesn't fit around your nose properly or under your eyes or even under your mouth. And this face mask is really laying super, super nice. Now, I'm going to relax. I'm going to probably text some of my friends, maybe watch some TikTok, some YouTube, and I will see you guys back in 20 minutes. The 20 minutes is done. It is time to take this bad boy off. Let's go ahead and peel it off. So as I'm rubbing this in, my skin feels very, very hydrated. I'm sure you can definitely see how glowy I am. I'm going to take some of this serum again down my neck. There is definitely a lot of product and juices and vitamins and all that good stuff left over from this mask so that i feel like is going to be very very beneficial now obviously when reviewing a face mask you're not going to see immediate results obviously my skin is way more dewier and fresh and definitely way more hydrated than prior to the face mask but besides that, you're not going to really tell immediate results. So what I will point out just so you guys can kind of get an overall review of the mask, of the product, of the brand. And when I think about it, first off, when I was letting my mask sit, which by the way, felt incredible the whole time. Very cooling, very calming. It wasn't dripping all over. It really formed to my face. That I loved. I did notice that this meshing, which I've already kind of stated I wasn't really a big fan of, in some parts, I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but like right here especially, and again, I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but if you guys can see, it's a little bit brown, but I don't know if you guys can tell kind of just the different color in between like right here and right here. I don't know what that is. I have never had a mask do that i don't know if that's just the ingredient of this face mask but i was looking at this meshing that is attached to your face mask when you peel it back and i've never seen one that gets a little bit discolored so that's a little odd now the next thing that i want to mention about these face masks is obviously you guys saw that i loved 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 the packaging i love the unicart and i love the face masks themselves i love this little extra bonus the packaging and the branding like i said earlier on in the video is just 
absolutely incredible, spot on, and I give Stella all the applause and the praise for sticking to your brand, knowing your brand, and selling your brand. That is awesome, and that I really love. Another big plus, like I said earlier, is that I love just how it formed to my face. It wasn't dripping, it wasn't too sticky, all that kind of stuff. The cons is I don't really feel like you need the mesh backing. I personally don't really love a mesh backing to the face mask. I don't really feel like it adds anything extra. I don't really feel like it holds your product in that much more. For me, it's just kind of a useless little part of the face mask. That is just my opinion. And another con to me, probably the biggest con with this face mask and skincare brand is the price. I know I said it before, but the price, when you are spending $6 a face mask and you are getting five for $30, that is just such a crazy number. I could think of 10 other things that I could spend $30 on. So if I'm being really, really critical, for me, I don't think that this product is readily accessible to everyone could definitely get way more selection and way more variety at target or walmart and yes i do realize that there are definitely higher end face masks at sephora and ultra that go for way more than 30 dollars. i'm totally aware of that i think for an everyday flight attendant who is doing this on her own and going through whoever she is going through to make this product 30 dollars is just a lot so with that being said this review is really hard for me because I feel like I'm split right down the middle. I feel like I'm definitely not going to go out of my way to repurchase this product. But maybe if I'm splurging for Christmas or for my birthday or a very special occasion, I might splurge and get it. I do feel like it's definitely a splurge item. I don't feel like I would go out of my way or have to have to have this product or this face mask collection as to other face masks. I'm sure that I can get the same if not very similar effect and results from other face masks out there on the market that is just my opinion with that being said that is the video i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope it was educational fun entertaining and i hope you guys were able to make sense of my scattered brain really trying to dissect and give you guys the most best honest authentic review that i possibly can on a face mask face masks are so hard to review because again you don't really see immediate results and it does kind of take time to see the results that you're looking for so i hope that this first impression was again entertaining for you guys and you guys did enjoy if you did please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below i'd love to have you guys join the fam over here also turn that bell notification on right next to the subscribe button so you guys can be notified every time i post a new video and if you're really feeling at it, be sure to leave a comment down below what you guys want me to review next. I told you I'm going to be reviewing, doing first impressions. This is the year of getting back into the grind of YouTube. So I'm so excited to get other videos out to you guys. And if you guys are interested in buying these face masks, even with my mixed reviews, I will link it down below because if you want it, I'll make sure that you are able to get it down below. Again, I am not sponsored or affiliated in any way, shape, or form. I bought stuff with my own money and I am just truly giving y'all my honest thoughts so be sure to work hard stay humble and be kind much love peace and i will see you guys in the next video let's get it all right Mwah. bye